Okay, so we are live on YouTube now, so we will get started. Um, so one second. Okay, so I didn't usually do we have a record yet to all his home by Livia Nux. Bienvenue and Kate Mila Falcha to the last day of our first ever Fail in the Grail game in Canada. We're in the home stretch now. This is our last live stream of the week. So thanks to you all for following along with our virtual events. Before I go any further, I want to acknowledge the Algonquin Nation, whose traditional and unceded territories we are gathered upon this evening. I know that our viewers this evening are joining us from many places near and far, and I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners and caretakers of those lands too. We were delighted to have co-presented this week with our friends and colleagues in the Consul General of Ireland in Vancouver, and I'll be handing over to our Vice Consul General, Jennifer Burke, in a moment or two to say hello and just a few remarks from the Consul at this point as well. So as many of you know, and I know you've probably heard us say this a few things already this week, but the work of an embassy or a consulate is normally entirely centered on face-to-face -face interactions, getting out into communities, meeting the diaspora, putting on live cultural events. But now in the like, thanks to the sort of pandemic situation we're in, we've had to pivot all of our work to this brave new world of Zoom calls and live streaming. And that has been quite the experience. So we thank you all for bearing with us over the last few weeks as we try and learn our way through this. Um, however, this new online presence has actually opened up a whole new world of opportunity for us. Like right now, Anya is in Berlin, for example, um, instead of, you know, like we don't have to fly her to Canada at the minute to do this. Like we're lucky that she's able to tune in uh, from, from Germany, actually. Uh, and, you know, people are able to tune in to this event the whole way across Canada so we can do a full coast to coast event in a way we never would have been able to before. So welcome to everybody outside Ottawa that's tuning in, for but also welcome to Ottawa people as well. Um, so because this is our first ever Fail in the Grail, we weren't sure what types of events would be most popular with you and um, our diaspora. So we will tweak the program a bit in future years kind of based on what we've learned. For example, we now know we need to do about 20 beginners Irish language courses to keep up with the demand. So we have noted that for future years. Uh, it's wonderful to see what a grow there is for the Irish language here in Canada. Of course, the Irish language or Gwilga has a long tradition in Canada and indeed Newfoundland is the only place outside Ireland with an indigenous Irish name, Tolivan-esque, named so by the Irish fishermen that have been fishing those grounds since 1538. I'm going to hand over to Jennifer now to say a few words, but um, before I introduce tonight's very special guest, Anya Gallagher. Jenny, over to you. Thanks, Amelia, Laura. Um, hi, everybody. And I also just want to start by acknowledging that the Consul General of Ireland in Vancouver is situated on the traditional ancestral and unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh people. And again, I know that the viewers this evening are joining us from all over the, uh, Canada and indeed all over the world. And I want to just take this moment to acknowledge the traditional caretakers and owners of those lands. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Burke and I'm the Deputy Consul General at the Consul General of Ireland in Vancouver. And we're absolutely thrilled to be co-hosting this week of um, Irish language events with the Embassy in Ottawa. Um, I just want to echo what Laura said really about um, the virtual world kind of being opened up to us and presenting new opportunities. I know the pandemic's been awful and really traumatic and difficult for many people in a lot of different ways, but it also has brought us together in a variety of new ways too. So we're delighted to be able to facilitate this program events for the Irish community in Canada and absolutely thrilled that Amy agreed to be part of it. So please enjoy this evening's performance and don't forget also that you can join in our conversation circles later on this afternoon to practice your Irish after you learn a bit here today. So go meal and and enjoy. Thanks. Thanks for that, Jenny. So I couldn't be more delighted to introduce Amy Gallagher. Uh, she first came to our attention when her documentary, Grawl August Ag Agla, sorry, <laughs> screened at the Toronto Irish Film Festival last year. And so we're very excited to have her here with us tonight. As I said, she's coming in all the way from Berlin, so it's a bit past her bedtime, so we, we won't keep her too long tonight. So not only is she an award-winning Irish comedian, but is also Ireland's only unqualified guerrilla Irish language teacher. She's achieved serious success in recent years, performing at international festivals, including the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and being the subject of the aforementioned documentary, which is available on YouTube, and we will link to it on our Twitter again later, so you guys can watch it. Uh, Anya is now recognised as a leading Irish language advocate, and she shares her own experiences learning the language to make it accessible to all. For her unique and deadpan style, she's been hailed the queen of the offbeat and is paving her way as one of Ireland's most original comics. 
So this evening, uh, Anya, or Amy, sorry, will provide some unique tips on how to learn and speak Irish. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy her enlightening stories of the mistakes she's made and the major successes on her own Irish language journey, as well as why speaking Ang Irish is exactly the same as making mug cakes, which I am very excited to hear about. <laughs> so over to you. Thank you, Laura. Gurv Mila Mahagwiv. Dear Yiv, it's more an honor, Dom, about on show. It's really exciting to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, for inviting me. Um, as Laura mentioned, I am Ireland's only unqualified Gorilla Irish teacher. So it's very exciting to be here. And um, Egon Deuce at the start of a lesson um, on Rod is Dom, the most important thing for me is to let just to let everyone feel like you can trust me you know there's you're in safe hands here okay i as laura mentioned i have a, a very significant profile um you can see in my bedroom and you can see that i don't own a wardrobe but don't let that uh, make you think i'm not a big deal yeah i'm still a very important uh, irish comedian and irish language advocate so um and I suppose to share some stories that will help you to trust me and come on this journey today with me. Um, as Laura mentioned, I do have a lot of experience teaching Irish. And um, I have like Huig Megadi on Edinburgh Fringe. I've been to the Edinburgh Fringe uh, twice to, to teach Irish at the International Comedy Festival there. August, it's rodjacheration. That actually is quite a difficult thing um, to teach Irish to those audiences because most of them are in fact expecting comedy. Uh, so it can be uh, and rod is uh, like fear fear yacher, very very difficult. And like it's quiven lum. I remember vidalta a one agam. I did have one student one time, um, Sandy. V, that was his name. He was a little bit late at the start, but he came in. So like, you know, he missed the start. But anyway, I, I always like to try to engage all of my students in a class. And I noticed like the Sandy Egbracht new era or Dorgaminic. He was like looking at his watch a lot. He seemed a little bit three a little bit confused. So, you know, I, I just reached out to him and her mechest air, I asked him. Oh, Sandy, like uh, on Will to Kyart Galore, like maybe would you like to learn how to tell the time? Trying to get him engaged. And uh, at that point, he said, No, I'm just timing how long it's going to take me to laugh. And I said, Oh, goodness, Sandy, me off. Oh, I'm very like top or I'm, I'm very sorry. Oh, it's, it's wrong. Like this is actually an Irish class, it's not, it's not a comedy show. And anyway, so a riff on wrong erfad for the whole lesson, Sandy just vishig brach new era of von poche. He was looking at his phone. Nirev shig eishtach just nirev she engaged er bit. And honig mid like gadi on there. We were kind of near the end. August viemer eg faulam fui namochuchon. We were learning about emotions, and Sandy actually like chershe a law of suus. He actually put up his hand at that point, and he said. Uh, how do you say I'm bored in Irish? Now, it was at that point that I, like, I understood what was going on. Sandy had actually come with a bad attitude. But at this point, he, he was like raising his hand and asking, like independently asking questions. I couldn't eat threads, mate. I actually didn't believe it. Yeah, I mean, to make a breakthrough with a student like Sandy. So I just think that's, you can trust me, okay? It's, it's moon to a fear, fear, wach, mate. Okay, I just thought a long time I can teach a lot of different people. So, and I told Sandy, that's a great question. I said, actually, the way you say it, um, that's how you say like I'm bored in Irish now 
Um, and I also added a few details and I said, but the lovely thing about emotions in Irish is they're all reflective. So it doesn't, when you say to ladron urum, it doesn't directly translate as I'm bored. It, it's reflective. So it actually uh, is I'm boring myself which is the beautiful thing about Irish and um, how, you know, it's kind of like you're taking responsibility for the emotion yourself. Uh, so if you're bored, you're boring yourself. It's no one else's responsibility. I think that's lovely. Now, I didn't tell Sandy at the time. It's not actually true, like that description. But this is the great thing about teaching Irish at the Edinburgh Fringe where people don't understand it at all. You can kind of say anything to just make yourself seem like you have a bit more like knowledge and then people trust you a lot more. So anyway, you're in safe hands here. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to this lesson. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll just get to recap on some of the... Uh, some of the Irish we already know. Um, please write questions in the comments. Laura's going to be reading them. And we're going to start, because no one would in it, a piece of folklore. We're just going to start with a little bit of vocab to get going. So if there's any word in particular that anyone out there would like to learn in Irish, please write it in the chat. And uh, Laura will let me know what you've written. So I'm actually going to invite Laura and Jenny back because we're going to practice, we're going to do a little bit of intro, yeah, together. Now, so Laura, have have any has anyone written anything that they'd like to learn today? Uh, not yet, actually. Not yet. No. That's, I'm very surprised. Oh my goodness. Well, is Spaderlin, is there anything you'd like to learn, Laura? Any word in particular? Sure. What's the word for pineapple? Pineapple. Well, well, I'll tell you what, Laura, we'll start with hello. How about that? All right. Yeah, OK, that's good. So I, I don't know what level everyone is at out there, but we'll just start with the basics. And it might be a good recap, even if you've already learned this. So, Laura, I'm sure you've heard this before, but to say hello in Irish, it's dia gwich. Dia gwich. Dia gwich. Very good, Laura. Well done. I, anawa, anawa. And then obviously what I say back to you, Laura, yes, is um, dia smuragwich. Yeah. So that, so dia gwich, that means God is with you. Yeah. And then when I say dia smuragwich, it's God and Mary is with you. All right, Laura. And then Laura, you say back to me. Um, Dias Smurans Joseph is saying that Ella Boach left ditch. So do you give that a go there, Laura? Yeah. Dias Smurans Joseph is saying that Ella ba my last ditch. In touch, Laura. On a while, yeah, and that's just. Jesus, Mary and Joseph and anyone else who you want is with you. Right. And that's how we say hello. Asquelga. Now, and this is a great tip, right? Because if you're a bit self-conscious of your Irish, maybe you think, oh, Neil Alon vocab agum, like me I don't have that much vocab, me fader alon, like like alon or like I don't have that much to say in a conversation. You can just keep saying, just take five or ten minutes to say hello you can just keep adding names on to the end and uh, that's a great tip to just build up a bit of confidence speaking Irish right so that's that's hello be a gwitch yeah be a smur a gwitch okay good now when we're having a, a chat like a general conversation we normally start with hello be a gwitch and then we might move on to this question like this anum ditch. Yes. So this is what is your name? So Jenny, what is anum ditch? Uh, Sinead is anum dumb. Sinead. Jenny. Sinead. That's, I'm very surprised. <laughs> 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 no. I was always called in school that my name in Irish was Sinead. <laughs> my goodness. Well, that's very, so, well, this is, you've, you've thrown a curveball at me there, Jenny Sinead, or, Sinead well, Jenny. Jenny yeah. is Adam Dunn. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, okay, well, that's fine. But anyway, no, that's on symbol, because normally on five, Leshan Keshtsho, Kadis Anam Ditch, Neil She Ro Himmel, that's the problem sometimes with this question. It's not always that interesting, or it's hard to give an interesting answer. 
right? But actually, Jenny, by saying Sinead, that was very interesting. Yeah. And but uh, again, and a tip that I say, ma hugging to like Kupla Sunri Ella. So if you give a few extra details when you're answering the question, so don't just say, for me, I wouldn't just say Anya is anam dum. I might add a few extra details just to make the conversation a little bit more interesting, let it flow a little bit more. So normally what people are interested in is my name because it's Anya. Normally it's pronounced Anya. So people kind of think it's like it's an interesting name. So I say, when people ask me, I say, Anya is anam dum. August, ta isagum. Like I know, is anam fir humul, eh? It's a very interesting name. Yeah. And uh, and then I add a few details and I say, would you believe like for me and Anam, I got the name because my parents, Mahish Mahori, they named me after a woman who gave my parents, uh, who gave them natural contraceptive advice in the mid 80s. Yeah. So there, just keep a sundry Ella, few extra details. And it just it really helps the conversation flow a little bit more. OK, so. To recap, we've got the rich, we've got Kadasanam Ditch, August in a year shin. The next kind of typical question that we ask people is on on will to gama or like Kunasatoti. So it's like, you know, how are you basically, right? So I don't know. Are, if anyone now at this point wants to learn any emotions in particular, we'll just we're going to recap on the different emotions and then we'll come back to this come back to this question so laura if there's any uh, if there's anyone who wants to learn any emotions there but we can recap jenny what's what's an emotion you'd you'd like to learn uh sadness Oh, yes. oh, yeah, good. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we start, we only do the ha happy ones in Irish, no? Yes. Yeah. So we've got oh, yes. oh, yes. is happy. Yeah. Now, of course, Jenny, of course, we do have brown. Yeah, that's sad. So if you want to say brown, you say tall brown urum. Yes, I am sad. Um, we've got <gasps> get the mini. Ah. Yeah, that's, can you tell what it is? Excitement. Excited. Very good, Jenny. Yes. <laughs> I did draw that picture as well myself, not just a gifted Irish teacher. <laughs> um, Farig. Farig. Angry. I'm angry. Yes. Anoa. Yeah. And then, oh, we, Laura, you need to practice this one. Ugla. Yeah. Ugla. 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 Very good, Laura. Anoa. Anoa Erfad. Now, is there any, does, did anyone say that they'd like to learn any emotions there, Laura? Is any coming yeah. in? One person commented LMFAO, so I think they want to know a lot about laughing. We've got frustrated and... Oh, frustrated is, a, <laughs> frustrated is a good one, right? I'll just write it down. So this is another um, tip. Uh, a tip in Irish is... So that's how you say frustrated. It's frustrated all, yeah? Uh, so you see, it's actually very similar to English. You say frustrated and then add just, um, just that all there. Just a father I L. You can add that to any word in Irish and then the word just becomes Irish. Yeah. So that's another tip. Yeah. So to frustrate it all around. Perfect. Uh, fluent. Leafa. Totu leafa as well. Yes. Thank you, whoever that was who asked the question. So then, so then this is the thing, right? So we've learned a few emotions. We've got all his grown, uh, Agla, Farag, right? So we come back to the, we come back to this now. So this is the question. On will to gama, are you well? So Laura, on will to gama? Oh my gama. To to gama, intoch. August Jenny, on will to gama? So my gama. Intoch. Okay, great. So a reach, right? Taspon and Shin Rodegan doing. That actually gives us an important lesson there. Um basically it's 
culturally inappropriate to say no to that question. So Tommy's Galer Gama. Tommy, so we're always well in Ireland. Isn't that right? Tommy Gama. If you you can't answer anything else to that question, um, because it is, it's culturally inappropriate. We don't talk about the sad emotions. We're all just happy all of the time. Yeah. Um, and I think it's that is an important thing to know when you're learning Irish as well. It's just you need to understand the culture. Um, and it, it's an interesting one. You know, Irish culture is very, it's very interesting. It's a bit different. So like so Kupla Ruddy Difrol and like a few things are different. Like when we go on a date, that's quite different as well. Because um, a date in Ireland, the way that we do it is um, erdus tain with the mach. At the start, we go out um, to see in with beider egdausa, like we start dancing. In a year shin to see in with egpoga, we start kissing. I guess in a year shin, dainin with eye contact. Uh, we make eye contact for the first time. So that's how we do an Irish an Irish date. Um, it's just, it's important to know in case any of those Canadians are ever in Ireland and you think, oh, I haven't been on any dates. You'll go on loads of dates. Yeah, in Ireland. We just have a different way of doing it. Okay. Intoch. So, Shin, eh? So, Shin on on head, on head, port, don kyak. Okay, that's the first part of our lesson, just a bit of vocab. Um, like I said, we had the aguich, kadasanam ditch, agus an will to gama. And the answer is tomegama. Igoni, always, 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 Tom Egama. Okay, Intach. Um, Laura and Jenny, Gurvmila Malgriv, it's Fedeliv Imacht Arish. If you if you want, we'll talk at, again at the end. So the thing, the thing I, I want to kind of move on now to unfortunately another problem when we're trying to learn Irish and speak Irish is not just learning the actual words but the the problem is that thought ugly like often we're just a little bit scared yeah and it's it's more on through Aisha this is a big like a big shame really and thought ugly we're scared maybe um um because kiapam wins ginyan from with button we think we might make a mistake or like we're scared to talk to native speakers or fluent speakers because we think we might be a little bit embarrassed or like our Irish might not be perfect. So and then unfortunately, sometimes the fear can stop us from speaking Irish or even trying or, you know, Neil Alon winning a Gwyn. We don't have a lot of confidence. So, on Rud Bawa Lomara, the thing I'd like to say is just, just, it's Fader Lat A Ayanov. You can do it. Okay. And like Rinna May A, I haven't always had such great, perfect, fluent Irish. <laughs> I'll tell you. I guess Rodawan a Rinna May, Kupla, Kupla Vlino Hin, a few years ago, um, I actually, Husig May Gimmert's Pell, I started playing football with an Irish speaking football team. I guess Egon Aumshaw Vishaf. Fear, fear, yachardom. It was really, really difficult for me. Marvi gacht in Alifa. Everyone was fluent. August Vishi just a kind, good toppy so fast, like talking so fast. August near Higme, near Higme alone. Like I really didn't understand much. And like the real problem was because at that point, for me, anytime I'd heard Irish like spoken, there'd normally be a beep before the conversation and I'd be able to hear the conversation three times before I even had to answer. So playing with this football team was a very different experience for me. But on Rudna, Don Mailesh, I stuck with it. August Dairig Shay Erwadnis Eska, like it got a lot easier over time. Yeah. August Gadion like to the point that like we started going out, we started socializing a lot more. August or a one, 
like who am I bonnet we went to a wedding of one of the girls one of the girls Deirdre got married and we all went to the wedding it was great and egg on bonnet at the wedding I was starting to get a bit more confident it was a point I was more confident to speak Irish and so I said I'll do it I'll go up to Deirdre so who may suisk Deirdre went up to Deirdre and I said Deirdre it's even long the guna bonnet now, people might not realize what I did there, okay? But I actually, and this is like the fear of making mistakes is, is a big problem, okay? And so what I said to Deirdre is even long the guna vanish. Now, when we have a noun, it, it, like the word guna, guna is the word for dress, right? And we spell that, that's how we spell it there. Uh, G U D H A I G H D H G H D H N A. Yeah, it's very, um, it's just very simple. Now, that's the word for dress. But if I say your dress, it becomes the guna. See, so it's G H U D H A I G H D H G H D H N A. So this is the thing. This is what I'd done. When I said to Deirdre, I said, it's even long the guna banish. I had I had made a mistake. I should have said, it's even long the guna banish. God. So the Noira Urum, I was I was actually quite embarrassed. Ah, oh, and Rudnoff, right? The thing was, in a year shin after that, Deirdre, like Dort she done, she said to me, Oh, Enya, um, like Gurv Margot, thank you. Um, but actually, I don't, I don't really know how to tell you this. But I, I didn't actually invite you to the wedding. See, so that, that's, this is the thing, right? When we make mistakes, we're actually the only ones who notice the mistake. Because Deirdre, like Higshi Kadadorchme, she totally understood what I'd said. She didn't even notice that I'd made the mistake. So this is the thing, right? Just no be oglach. Don't be scared of making mistakes because really we're the only ones who notice them. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that we can't be understood and we can't have a conversation. Yeah. And um, I mean, I think it's really important for us to, to try and to celebrate and not focus on our mistakes, but focus on, you know, when we do understand things and when we like when we have a good conversation with someone. But Mark, because I think five Ella, another problem, Tommy the Goni Exmuina Fuinadini Ella. We're always thinking of other people and thinking, oh, to like Agwids Gwilga Erwadni Stiar, like their Irish is much better than my Irish. Oh, Neil May, Neil May Er Bit, like I'm, I'm useless, I'm terrible. But Daula May, I've realized that we all kind of think the same thing. This is the thing. So if you think someone else is better, they probably think something similar as well. August, Arish, um, like couple of Leonohin, a couple of years ago, V May in the wall, I was a member uh, of a Kirkel Koro, an Irish speaking group. August Vulamur Lechela Gach Kupashat, and like every couple of weeks we'd meet to speak Irish. August V Fara Wan, and there was one man there, Darvanum Joseph. Um, August Hiat May God to Joseph now, Achwid Gwilge to Shay like Harbar, like his his girl was really good and I was always quite insecure speaking with Joseph um but then like near Reb Joseph own Erfag like Erfag Bader like Kupla me right um Joseph stopped coming for a couple of months August Norahonik she Arash when he came back Vishay Eg he was saying oh like to brown or um near me on show Erfag Tamo like I haven't been here in a while um we like nirev may rowa i wasn't very well we may teen rich may suis lemma far hela he broke up with his partner um you know august just the we say fear rona like we 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 brown air like he was just a bit depressed and um you know i was just listening to him tell this story august in the yeshin after that he also said um 
August nor like nor being brown or when I am sad Neil may name will get a lower tomorrow how he like tasty and um alone winning August alone when you've couldn't eat allowed it. like he was saying he really needs a lot of energy to be able to speak Irish and if he's not in a if he's not in a good mood um he just feels kind of insecure about it now I listened to Joseph tell this story and I couldn't believe it because Vishay a kind on Tamer Fad Asquelda he was talking the whole time in Irish August Higme Gach Fuchel and Dorche I understood every single word that he said. I just, the, the shin on, that was shin on kids or, or a horlish. That was the first time that had ever happened, that I'd ever sat and listened to someone speak Irish for maybe five minutes. And there was no point when I was confused. So we may on, on, on bro dual awesome. I, I was very proud of myself. And this is the thing we have to see our own wins and like be proud of ourselves. And this is why I say, Eglarets Gwelga, right? Speaking Irish, Toshe Gedirach, Mar an Gaina, it's exactly the same as making mug cakes, as Laura mentioned at the start. So if nobody knows what a mug, if anybody doesn't know what a mug cake is, this is a mug cake. Yes. So it's it's basically, it's cake in a mug. Uh, that's effectively what it is. And you make it in the microwave, right? You put it in about 90 seconds and then this cake comes out. Yeah. And um, like, they're just very pretty. See, like that's another example, Sample Ella, um, August, Sample Ella there. Yeah. So these are mug cakes. Now, Rina May Mug Cake Fane, Ladaini. Like recently I actually made my own mug cake and this is how it turned out. Yeah, I guess um, aerial view, Agam. That was it there. Yeah. So, on rug not like fucking shit, like Neil Mulrug cake, Gadirach Marangena, no, like on mug cake, us on lower. Yeah, my mug cake is not exactly the same as the mug cake out of the book. Ah, on rug not, right? This mug cake, the my mug cake. Like Vime and I Cheya Eha. Like I was able to eat that. That was edible. It was fine. It, it tastes like it was it was edible. It, it yeah, it yeah, it was edible. Perfectly edible. Yeah. So this is the thing. Noratomi de kind of squelga. When we're speaking Irish, don't worry about it being perfect. Don't worry about it being exactly as it is in the book and getting it exactly spot on. And if you're not getting it exactly spot on, that it's not real Irish. Because this is a real mug cake because it's cake in a mug. So it's feather linen. We can all do it. Um, no be borha, don't be worried. No be aglach, don't be scared. Uh, it's feather lin gwelga alert. We can all speak Irish. Okay, intach. So anish, um, tomid biognach egan dera is doi. Um, we're kind of nearly at the end of the lesson. Um, but I suppose the thing that I always find, like, like the most important question is, how can we find a way to learn Irish, um, like a way that's similar, like interesting for us? Um, because the on five agam, I always had the problem that Noravimeik faulam gwelge Ni rev alon sim agum sne lauer agus sne hover. Like, I didn't have a lot of interest in the books that we did in school and um, the kind of topics that we'd cover. Yeah. And to sample a one dun lauer a renomer is school. So, this is um, an example of a book that we did in school. Like, it's kind of a classic Irish reader to learn the vocab and this this character here is called Mortine as we can see right and so this is this is kind of a the like on head lachnach the first page when we're learning about uh Mortine and we can see um to gruig dove egg Mortine so Martin has uh, black hair August to Dun 
uh, Air Martin, he's got brown eyes. August is Buchel a Martin. Uh, Martin is a boy, right? Ach, like, I suppose the thing about Martin is, you know, I don't care. Yeah, like Neil ain't some agam, sim agam er be a Martin. I have no interest whatsoever. August fake air on lat nook shut. Like, if you look at this page, right? Look at him there. Totilena Darig er Martin. Yeah, Martin has a red t shirt. But, as you'll all see, but when where is pants? Right. He's just he's a bit weird. I don't really relate to Martin. I don't like me Higgum. I don't really understand everything that's that's going on here. Um and I, I just like Nilain Sim Agum, I just have no interest whatsoever. August Vishin on five, you know, Nervime is skull. So sometimes Orenta Hyapme oh Nilain Sim Agum in but that's not true. It's just that I wasn't interested in in that book Martin. So I've realized as an adult, as I'm learning more Irish, there's other ways that I can learn that's a lot more interesting. And I've realized like Neil Ain Sim Agum e Mortin, a tall sim agum e Lionel Richie, right? So I've no interest in, in Martin. But I am interested in Lionel Richie. Yeah. So this is why Scrive me mo lower fane. I've actually written my own book. Um, as you can see here, it's called Dia Rich. Hello. Yes. Uh, learn Irish with Lionel. August Kahime Raw, right? To on lower show, just er wad, er wad, 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 mis humula. Just a much, much more, much more interesting way to learn Irish. And um so I, I, I'll give you a few examples of the vocab that we can that we can learn with with Lionel. It's just so good. Here um, you can see. So again, folklore. This is a uh, vocab with Lionel. Yeah. So first of all, uh, we've got chromail. Yes. So that's mustache. Yeah. And uh, the way we pronounce it is crumb, like a crumb of bread and ale like beer yes so crumb ale yeah on a walk and uh, then we've got yes so that means hairy hairy chest yeah and this is the great thing about learning irish with lionel like we don't we wouldn't learn um this type of vocab with martin because martin's only a boy you see but lionel lionel's a man so we get we get much better vocab with Lionel, yeah. Um, then you can see here um, we've got Oscar Gruga, yeah. So that's hairy armpit. And then note if we've got two or more hairy armpits, it's na Haskla Gruga, yeah. So that's hairy armpits, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. So I don't know, um, Laura, is there anything that you, any vocab that you'd like to learn about Lionel, uh, Laura? Or would anyone like to learn anything in particular? I mean, we could learn some vocab here with Lionel. Is there anything? No questions coming in there now, but my first question about Lionel is that has he also turned his back on trousers like marching? Well, um, well, actually, do you know what? I only seem to focus on Lionel's top half. That is a good, uh, a good observation. Maybe it's, um, he don't know. He wears great pants, like leather pants. Yeah. Lionel wears leather pants. Hang on a second. Yeah. We'll, we'll cover that one now. So this is, this is how you say leather pants in, um, in Irish. Yeah. Um, so we've got uh, oh yeah. So that's it. So there, um, Laura, you can see it's leather pants all. Yeah. So just leather pants all, right? Very good. Cash on a walk, Laura. Very excellent question. Thank you for that. Yes. So Shin. In era, in our era, shin, shin on dera the learn Irish. That is like the end of learn Irish with Lionel. I'm actually, if anyone out there is interested to um, commission this very good, um, innovative educational idea, 
I'm open to discussions about that. Um, as you can see, I've had to just make all the pictures myself. Uh, but to leave you on a cliffhanger and maybe to, to increase my chances of being invited back to this festival next year, I'll just give you a hint of other books that I'm writing that are also going to be good reads. I've got this one. Uh, it's called Paying Lionel Gusboss. Yeah. Lionel goes to space. Yeah. That's going to be a that's going to be another good one. So it's fades or live. You can like hold tight for that one. That one's a chocked galua coming soon. Yes. Um, but really, uh, Laura, I have to say that's like Shin really uh, and Dara that's the end of the lesson I suppose um, the main thing is just uh, put all at the end of any word and you can say anything you want in Irish and don't be scared just give it a go we're all it's kind of like anyone who speaks Irish is is pretty much just learning it all the time so um, it's fader lin we can do it yeah Thank you. Yeah. I learned a lot there. I swore by adding all or any or just random fathers into words in secondary school to get through Irish. So yeah. Uh, or an extra GH anyway. or a DH. You can put an extra GH or a DH anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. It. yeah. Um I think there's not too many questions coming in, but there's loads of comments. People are really enjoying this. And we have a few people saying we have to bring you back next year. So, but I do want a published version of Lionel Goes to Space before you come back. No problem. No problem. It's I'll perfect. do it. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this has been fantastic. Um, uh, we won't keep you up past your bedtime too much longer, but uh, I learned a lot. I think a lot of people did too. So thank you very much. I'm going to stop the live stream now, but for everybody else, um, thank you so much for following along with us this week. Uh, if you're signed up to the conversation circles later, we'll see you on that. Otherwise, um, see you at our next uh, virtual event on YouTube. Just keep an eye on our Twitter and on our Instagram. Okay, Songapal.